Hi, I'm Danelle Murphy. I'm the president of the Friends of St. Patrick's. And we're getting ready for a fabulous event this coming Friday. Yep, if you could tell event, us a little bit about it. Yep, the event is taking place on uh, March 5th, 11th at noontime at Christina's. It's our 25th annual luncheon that we're going to be uh, holding. Uh, it's been going on since 1987 where we pick a person of the year and we allow the person of the year to pick charities uh, that we give to. We encourage to give to local charities, but it's a luncheon that we hold that has festivities with uh, dancers and entertainment. Uh, one of, the, I believe, the town's best raffles around with a lot of prizes. Uh, we probably have 150 prizes that we pull in about 50 uh, different raffle tickets. Now, um, this year is special with, because the recipients are special and the anniversary is special, so if you could tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, usually, uh, usually we have one single person of the year. Uh, it being the 25th, we kind of wanted to give it a little bit more of a splash, and uh, we ended up uh, with the Turco Girls. Uh, Mary, Katie, and Tina have been on the radar for quite some time, and names have popped up a bunch of time for their... Uh, what they've done for the community and how much they've given in the community, which is a lot they've given to. Uh, all the private organizations and the charities they belong to, and uh, you know they're very uh, deserving of the uh, of the you know the recipient of the persons of the year. Now they got to pick what charity they would donate the money to. Can you tell us who they picked and how that will work? Yeah, they they picked the uh, Saint DePaul uh, Society, and uh, it's a local organization that's uh, well, actually, it's a national organization with a branch here in Walpole. Uh, it's kind of uh, dear to the Turcos because uh, their father was very involved with it as well as the girls when they were growing up. They would often go with the father and participate in the charities and, and help uh, in the organization there, what they do. And It's not a very big charity event. They're very much under the radar and they give to really people in need. It's, it's, a, it's a great uh, charity that people really need and people don't know about it mainly because it is very low-key on the giving that they do. Um, and, now back to the event, what do they serve? Uh, the standard corned beef and cabbage is served there. It's been doing that for the 25 years that we've been there and Christina's does a great job on it. It's $40 a ticket. The luncheon starts at about noon time. Uh, there's a cocktail hour from 12 until 1 and then at 1 o'clock the luncheon starts till about 2, 2.30 and then the raffle starts around 2.30 to about 4. Now on the way over we were talking about how a lot of people feel like this is uh, an event that's been going on for so long and a lot of people don't know how to join it and could you let people know that it is open to the public? And yeah. um, Well we've recently come into the electronic age by starting up a website and also have a Facebook page. You can see it at uh, www.friendsofstpatrick.org and we also have a Facebook page as well. And the parade, which we get excited at Blackburn because everyone comes and changes there. And um, so, if you could tell a little bit about who's included in the parade and the route. Well, the parade that we the parade has been uh, starting down at uh, Blackburn and it goes out and just uh, loops around the center of town and ends at uh, the common the where car clubs, uh, fire department will be in it. There'll be uh, the Boston uh, Gaelic Police Band will be Walpole in it. Walpole High School Band will be in it. Um, there'll be a couple trolleys in there as well, where in the trolleys, uh, anyone is allowed to ride in the trolleys and to go in the trolleys. Uh, the trolleys also, uh, not only are they in the parade, but they also uh, will be in town taking people from the center of town, which one of the trolley stops is at the Raymond's Nest. There's one at Finnegan's Wake, and there's also one at Beckett's, and from those locations it will take you up to Christina's and take you back at the end of the event as well. All right, perfect. Well, thank you very much. I, I know this is a great event thank you. for the town. I think anyone that would come would have a wonderful time there and encourage you to come. There's still tickets on sale, and uh, you can get tickets at the door as well. All right, thank you very much for letting us come and chat with you. Okay, thank you. Hi, we're here today with the Friends of St. Patrick Person of the Year recipients, and this year it's three people, Tina Turco Seaman, Mary Turco King and Katie Turco Abadie. Can you tell us a little bit about your legacy here at Turco Insurance um, as far as your involvement with the community? Anyone? Well, I think we grew up watching our dad, um, you know, be very involved. He, you know, loved to help out. And we just, I guess, tried to continue that as we could. I think Walpole is a unique community and that so many people do so much to help others. And I don't think we're that unique in that we just try to help.
try and help when we can. There's like so, so many, many other so many people who give back. And I know you all grew up in Walpole, so is it um, important for you? Is that does that lend to you being so involved in the community? It's a great town. I think you know you grew up in Walpole. It's it is a unique town, like Katie said, in that there's so many people that care and give and want to help out, which I don't think you probably see that everywhere. I think we are just doing what we have seen since we were small children. All around us, our parents and the community. Try and give back. If you can help, you try and give back. And I know that as recipients of this, you choose the charities um, that will benefit from the Friends of St. Patrick. And can you tell us what you've chosen? Well, the way it works is we gave a few suggestions to the Friends of St. Patrick. And they looked into them and they chose which one they felt was in the most need and most deserving. And it's very appropriate they picked the, um, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul at the Blessed Sacrament Church. And the reason that's so important to us is that was our father's biggest thing that he put time into. He did it from the time we were little until he could do it no longer. Okay, and what are you most looking forward to about Friday's festivities? After the speeches, <laughs> <laughs> and again, we talked about a unique community. The Friends of St. Patrick is exactly what we're talking about. You know, a wonderful group of people that work so hard every year to raise this money that they can donate to worthy causes. So we shall be honoring them, not right. us, because they've done it for 25 years without hesitation, and they've just continued to give back. And they've, they've really enriched an awful lot of different charities. Enjoy your day on Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.